So we're still at Dave the Nervous Squirrel's house and in the last video we looked at some of his uh, crazy creations including this rather mental massive homemade modular synth that you've been building for the last few years. That's right. But today we're actually looking at something that, well the reason that I came down here was to grab something that is apparently currently sitting in the loft, right? That's right, covered in dust. It might have disappeared. It might have been eaten by bats, for oh. sure. Look what I found! <laughs> oh, there they are! Oh, I'll pass them down, we'll grab there them. <laughs> 47 more after this. Blimey. So here it is, fresh out of Dave's loft. This is the owl organ. Well, all of its uh, parts. What is actually going well, so on? I guess the um, it wasn't really built for a specific purpose apart from I found a really good special offer on owls like getting a load of them and lining them all up seemed like a fun thing to do. Did yeah. you initially have the plan of making it musical or do we use it was it going to be an yeah yeah for sure because the owls the original owls did hoot as well as the eyes flashing so they definitely suggested themselves as being tunable and so yeah this has literally been sat in the loft for seven years seven years seven years just chilling on the loft and now the owls have finally come out to see the light of day so now we've got all the bits out uh, what what do we need to do because obviously it probably isn't fully functioning yeah sure there's a bit of a to-do list I think it could do with a bit of paint it's going rusty uh, we've got to check everything works and there's about four owls that have um, yeah, they look a bit sad at the moment. I think they need repairing. Always buy spares when you make a owl organ. <laughs> This one, this one over here has got different, different eyes. Well, there's 49 notes, but there are 50 owls, and so owl number 50 has laser eyes. has a multiple amount of owl species that you're going to be able to select between. For every occasion. Uh, snowy too. What about a tawny? Oh, good for funerals. <laughs> <laughs> The owls are connected to the control box via these uh, parallel connectors which tell the owls to play and they plug up and they go into the back. So first things first, it only seemed right to play a bit of Coriol Scatsy on it and uh, yeah, the owl version I must say is rather endearing to say the least. After that, I got it back to the museum where uh, Dave has kindly loaned it to because, you know, it's better being stored and being able to be played than just being stored and gathering dust, right? So it just seems like a good idea. So I just went about trying not to thread any screws and just putting it together. And then after that, yeah, it was uh, just a case of trying to pick it up. And wow, that thing's heavy. Oh my God, that's heavy. I'm not going to be able to get that up. Uh, it's way too heavy. Uh, I'm gonna have to get somebody to give us a hand. No! <laughs> we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it! I'm gonna put my hands a bit further down, yeah. Oh! So here it is, the owl organ in all of its glory and. It's working! So there's 50 owls here, but there's only 49 notes on the keyboard, so the 50th owl is. You got it, it's laser eyes. You can't really see the laser because there isn't any mist in the air, you know, like usual owl habitat, so you'll just have to trust 
the fact that it's one evil owl at the top. So these owls are hooked straight up to the mainframe, which means that each of these separate owls is assigned to a tuned key on the keyboard. What a rustic tone, and that one is a tawny. Whenever that designated owl plays, you'll see that it lights up its eyes. <laughs> You've got a control here, so you can adjust the pitch of them. But not only that, you can also adjust the owl species. You've got 12 owl species here, so let's have a flick through. Uh, what about Snowy? <laughs> Uh, what about the barred owl? Uh, what about a screeching owl? Oh, that's nice. Uh, the barn owl, which sounds pretty sketchy. Oh, that's the eeriest owls I've ever heard. Scops owl. Boreal owl. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Hawk owl. Ooh. We've got the whole gang in here today. What about Screech 2? Who can forget the great horned? A boo book. So with this truly varied plethora of owl tones, it makes a rather unique uh, musical instrument uh, that is owl -t of this world. Right, let's try and make a sequence out of it. So that is Nervous Squirrel's owl organ. It's uh, pretty awesome and it's an amazing creation. You should check out his old video on it. Uh, it was exhibited in Berlin as well uh, back in 2012, 2013, sometime like that. So definitely go and check that out. The links are in the description. It's really nice when it's played by somebody who actually knows how to play keyboard, unlike me. I'm incredibly grateful for the fact that Dave was happy to loan this to the museum. It seemed to make a lot more sense having this being able to be played by people and stored at the same time instead of just being sat in a loft uh, kind of gathering dust. 
talking about the museum's progression, I keep quite up to date over on my Patreon about it because needless to say the Patreon helps fund the opening of it. It's turning into quite the saga to get it all done and ready to be open, especially in a time like this with all the COVID and stuff like that going on. So trust me, it is on its way. It's just, you know, things like this take a little bit of time and it always takes a little bit longer than you're expecting. There's still a fair bit of building work to get done. The whole audio from when I was noodling on the uh, owl organ is available to download. There's a direct recording over on my Patreon. So there's plenty of like samples and stuff in there if you really want to get your woodland critters uh, in, your, uh, in your songs. The museum idea stemmed from the fact that it was probably going to cost about the same to store them in storage as having a museum. So it just made sense to sort out a museum. So if you know of any DIY creators that I should get in contact with and kind of ask if there's anything sitting in storage that they would like to have displayed in a museum, well comment below the ideas and I'll, I'll reach out to people. But yeah, until the next video, I've been Look Mum No Computer, that's the Owl Organ. Go and check out Dave's website and last week's video if you haven't already seen it on Dave's creations. And yeah, and if you like this, don't forget to subscribe and don't be scared to try it.